Hey, what's up everyone? And in this second part, I'm going to show you how I retouch this shot. And let's start from the very beginning. This is the whole structure, as you can see here. So I'm going to turn off uh, my all layers and groups, stuff like that. And I'm going to start from the very bottom. So basically, I just uh, imported a few shots. I uh, here is the bottom part and here is the top part. So I merged them together using a mask and I also added a mask on the bottle to, to retouch it later. So also I fixed some areas as you can see here. There, there was water or stuff like that, I do not remember. So I removed it and also fixed some texture on stones as you can see here then I added a levels adjustment layer to kind of bring down the whole um, brightness of the picture then I started to add some dodge and burn technique and overall contrast some vignette I fixed the colors a bit as you can see here and and also added the kind of shadow behind the bottle you will see it later when I'm gonna activate my other layers so that's for a background after that I imported all shots of the can so this is the basic and then I started to add some reflections for example Oh, I removed some unnecessary reflections like here in the center you see here's before and after so uh, and started to add some highlights let's say on this top part here's before and after just simply mask and I painted over it with a brush here and same here so the technique of compositing you can easily you just all you have to do is just uh, combine all shorts all shots together I mean align them right correctly without any shifting so and just use a mask to add all necessary elements like here and here you can get really a lot of variations and different look for for the same uh, for the same part of the picture you know it's just up to you how you want to combine them so the next uh, I started to fix some issues like dust scratches and stuff like that as you can see here I was using the uh, healing brush and stab tool as I remember correctly so just routine stuff you know and uh, I also added a layer with noise to make to make it more kind of to bring back some texture, you know. And uh, what's next? Probably st stamp tool or healing brush. I don't know. Same here. And then probably I removed some unnecessary color shifting. I'm not sure where it is. Anyway, ah. Oh here as you can see here's before and after not a lot of difference but anyway it looks a bit better I could remove this part completely but you know it's really time consuming and as it was not the commercial shot so I decided not to spend my time on that all right here is uh, another part right here here's before and after and same for this part so and probably some minor corrections the stamp tool healing brush all right so what's next the next part is the contrast work you know so here is a mask for a for an entire can and uh, just simply curse adjustment layer to bring more contrast 
to the host scene to the to the can so I made the highlights oops sorry about that I made the highlights a bit more visible as you can see here's before and after and probably what I did here maybe oh I raised saturation a bit and bring down the lightness a bit mm, really minor change but actually I do not see any change <laughs> anyway <coughs> so the next layer is an RQS adjustment layer to make the uh, this part in the center a bit more darker as you can see let me zoom in a bit and I made the Miller logo a bit more visible to kind of to make it really pop it out same for this part and uh, what else oh I made the bottom part of the can a bit more brighter a bit more edgy I would say here's before and after so same stuff for the central part before and after and here is the little detail right here as you can see before this adjustment layer uh, the the gradient was kind of with a lot of reddish and yellow tones so I decided to remove them to get rid of that and I just bring my yellows down this is a huge uh, hue saturation adjustment layer and I choose yellows and bring saturation all the way down minus 94 and paint with mask or areas I do not want to have uh, yellowish and reddish tones you know so before and after it's just time consuming you have to paint over these small areas you know as you can see and you do not want you don't you don't want affect these areas golden areas here here so you have to spend time on that and at the end probably I started to add uh, some sort of glowing as you can see here uh, really light touches you know here's a before I'm sorry before and after just to make kind of effect of glowing you know and here so that's that's pretty much it for retouching it's actually uh, I spent probably I don't know maybe two and a half hours total you know uh, and uh, there is nothing too hard uh, behind it just you have to spend time on that just to if you want to really uh, if you want to work accurately and deliver the good result uh, so thank you for watching if you have any questions drop them in the comment and let me know what you think see you